welcome to February Favorites because it is the end of February. I'm so excited. It's like halfway spring. It's awesome, except that Monday I think is supposed to be 75 and then Tuesday there's like chances of snow. But then Wednesday it's 60 again, so what the hell, Kansas? Get your crap figured out. Anyway, let's talk about some beauty products. First, I have two products that I think I may have mentioned in my January favorites, but I really have just been reaching for these practically every day that I haven't had a strong opinion about what to put on my lips. So these are what I'm wearing right now. First, I put on the L'Oreal La Matte in She's So Matte, which is number 102. And then I put on the uh, Lip Lacquer from Smashbox, and this is in Coral. I really love both of these products. So this one is quite matte. But I really like the pencil form. It makes it super easy to go on. It's a really, really beautiful color. Just a tiny bit warm, but not super warm. It wears pretty well, and when it wears off, it looks super natural still. And then the lacquer is sticky, but not super sticky. Like, it's a very, it's a very smooth feeling sticky, so it stays around for quite a while, but it also just feels really moisturizing. So the two of these colors together are what is on my lips right now, and pretty much every other day this month that I've been like, I don't really care, but I need something on my lips, this has been my go-to. Another thing that I've been super loving this month, and I didn't really expect to necessarily, I got a deluxe sample size of the Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara, and this stuff is awesome! It's what I'm wearing right now. I feel like my lashes look huge every single time that I put it on, but the brush is really beautiful. Uh, it's like has a whole bunch of really plastic things, but they're all like in a spiral I don't really know how to describe it, but I feel like it separates really well. It lengthens really well It's very voluminous and it wears pretty well. It doesn't flake off halfway through the day So I'm a super fan of this and I don't really typically like Bare Minerals products But I have really liked Bucks and Mascaras in the past and I know they're the same company more or less So maybe this is worth checking out I also have to mention this, which you will have seen in, I think, my Valentine's Day video if you watched that. This is a Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade In the Spotlight. It is one of the foiled shadows. It's very peachy, and I am completely obsessed with it. I have been putting it on my lids constantly. And I do say I apply it with a finger. If I apply it with a finger just like this, I get a ton more color payoff than if I use even like a super flat concealer type brush. I still just don't get the payoff with that that I want. So I think this is definitely all of these shades are best as lid shades and I think finger application is a really consistent way to get maybe the payoff that you're expecting from them, but I am completely in love with this. It's what I'm wearing on my lids right now, so you can see it's super metallic, and I love it. Love. Love. Love it. Love it. This next one kind of bridges the gap between skincare and makeup, and it is the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Triple Remedy Balm. This is the original one, so it doesn't say a color because it used to only be in one color, but now it's the light medium, I think. So it's quite light and peachy toned, and I really like it. It's what I'm wearing under my eyes right now, and you can tell it doesn't get rid of 100% of the darkness. But honestly, whenever I try to get rid of 100% of the darkness, I feel like I'm not a real human being. I feel like I'm a little bit of a real doll situation going on. And also, my under eyes are so dry that if I put too much on it, it gets super crepey, super gross looking really, really fast. So I like that this is very moisturizing, but because of the peachiness, it helps cancel out a lot of the darkness without having a whole lot of coverage. I don't know, it's just felt like the perfect under eye concealer for me lately. Again, hearkening back to that, I've been very lazy. I've been doing a lot of no makeup makeup and this has fit into that routine perfectly. I have been completely obsessed with the Fresh Peony Brightening Treatment Mask. Uh, it's an overnight mask, so I'll put on my moisturizer and then I'll put this on afterwards and it is about down to here, I think. So I got this when it first came out in gratis, and then I just kind of never really used it a whole bunch. And I have been using it lately, and I feel like it is amazing. Like, I don't usually have huge um, over-the-top reactions to skincare products where I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing, I can tell, it totally changed my skin. But I somehow feel like this does, and I don't know what's in it that makes me feel that way, but I feel like I put this on, and in the morning, all of the redness from my face is evened out, my pores look smoother, and if I knew what ingredient it was that was in this that's making me do this, I would definitely look for cheaper alternatives, and that's probably what I'll do when I run out of this. But for now, I'm going to be using this semi-regularly every other night, probably, and I'm like 
so head over heels about this. I actually went over to watch a basketball game with some friends the other day, and all I did was put just the tiniest bit of translucent powder right down the center of my face, then I did the rest of my makeup. So normally when I have on brows and mascara and lipstick, I want to have on foundation because I feel weird, like I have too much blotchiness in my skin. But after using this, I felt totally fine doing eyeliner and mascara and eyebrows and lipstick and nothing else. And it was so awesome. And I totally credit this product for it. My final beauty product this month is Prada Candy. And I don't have the cap because it melted in the move. Uh, I don't know if I've told you that story or not, but either way. I have been wearing this so much this month and just completely loving it. It smells awesome, but I'm the worst at describing fragrances. Um, it's the first fragrance that I smelled. I used to be like, ugh, all fragrance smells like fragrance and I hate it. This is the first fragrance that I put on and I was like, I don't hate that. And then I bought it, and now I want to wear it, like, a lot. Uh, it's not a super summery fragrance, though. I like it better in the winter, I've decided. So I have the information about it here. It says that it takes a walk on the wild side, showing us a new facet of femininity where more is more and excess is everything. Magnified by white musks, noble benzoin comes together with a modern caramel accord to give the fragrance a truly unique signature. So the notes are caramel, musk, vanilla, and benzoin, and the style is carefree, sophisticated, and sensual. Um, so caramel I definitely get, and it is a little bit musky and a little bit of that sweetness of the vanilla. No one knows what benzoin smells like. I, everyone just says that word, but what does that even mean? I don't understand. So, uh, yeah, anyway. I definitely get the, the musky, caramel, sweet scents. Um, so it's a little bit sweet, but definitely has a musk undertone to keep it very grounded. Mm, carefree, sophisticated, mm, sure, I suppose. So sensual, I do agree with. It, it smells very, like, I don't know, not, it's not an 18-year-old scent, and it's not a 60-year-old scent. It's, it's a late 20s woman who kind of knows what she wants and, and is having a good time getting there sort of situation, I guess. Um, but I really love this. I've been wearing it so much and it's like my first love in the fragrance world and I'm just so happy that I keep coming back to it. Finally, I want to mention something that is not beauty related at all. And if you watched my five minute video, which I will link somewhere, if you have watched that, you have seen this. It is my pebble time round and I freaking love this thing. It is awesome. It looks like a watch. You guys, it looks like a watch. It's super thin. It doesn't stand up super tall. It's round. It looks like a watch. But it's a smart watch, so it connects to my phone. It tells me when I get texts. It tells me when someone's calling me. Anything that I get a notification for on my phone comes to here, which is awesome. It also does a little bit of fitness tracking, so steps and sleep. It tells me, this face tells me what time it is. It tells me what day it is. It tells me what the weather's like. It tells me what tomorrow's forecast is. I am super happy with it. Super happy with it. Um, it is the lightest smartwatch that has been made so far, which honestly, I've been kind of sort of wanting a smartwatch for a long time, but never found one that I was like, I would wear that every day. Most of them look like computers and I don't like it. So I like that this one looks like a watch, but also does the smart stuff. So I'm super into it. If you, like me, have been wanting a smartwatch, but something that looks more like a watch that you would be comfortable wearing every day, definitely check this one out. So those are all of my February favorites. Thanks for hanging out with me and checking them out. Hopefully there's something there that you are now interested in. Let me know if you have tried any of these or if you do and what you think of them. And yeah. That's all I got. So I will speak to you all again very soon. Bye.